very good morning fellow toastmasters and guests good morning, good morning. Good morning. all right that seems to be a little energetic so after the hustle and bustle we have finally made it here uh, we have set up the chair everything is on i mean track so uh, i'll be the surgeon at arms for today and uh, my name is kevin as you can see on the board so any guesses what is my role all about anyone anyone can tell me like yeah that is true but then what is my role like what should i tell you as an sa can you be a little more louder okay like if you can guys can tell me about the do's and don'ts if you can tell me one of them perfect so no sex religion politics in in today's meeting good one now yes raj you had yeah keep your phone in silent or switch off mode like you guys can do it right now i just did it before i started give you a few seconds to do that i hope everyone has done great awesome so we don't want any ringing in between then uh, ringing will lead to punishments like imposition and then what is the next one yeah yes atul setting the tone and but can you tell me like uh, the pointers actually like what am i supposed to do apart from this uh, what else is there so keeping the yeah enthusiasm yes i have yeah i should do that so <laughs> so mobile phone uh, then sex religion politics it should not be discussed and what else sorry yeah the most important point the washroom the washroom is in the ground floor so if there is an emergency you have to go down two floors and then go to your washroom so this is pretty much what an essay usually says okay i would like to give some additional points here again why have you joined toastmaster anyone can answer a raise of hands would be helpful why did you join toastmasters anyone yeah you can yeah okay great awesome yeah that is the right one to improve on the public speaking skills okay anyone else networking great awesome so i'll only take two in the interest of time what i would like to tell you guys is even though you have paid for toastmasters and as you can see we are all working for this club to function right so no one helping us from outside not no one from us okay we are doing it all on our, all on our own so what is the whole idea here it is not about you but it's about the crowd it's about your audience you should just focus on that never ever focus on yourself just focus on your audience because our audience is a god it's like a customer so audience could be kids could be elderly we should cater to all their needs like we should connect with them that's the whole idea why we are here we are not focused on ourselves just remember that in your mind all right and um, that being said just another tip i hope it won't be boring for you guys but before you give a speech just make sure you present yourself in front of a mirror this is because a mirror will be your first friend in public speaking do that and only then come for speaking otherwise please don't doesn't make any sense you will get a feedback in the end but it will be little pleasing for you because we still want you right but the actual feedback comes from the mirror so do that and then come for a meeting so without any further ado i would like to call upon the three present so today we are having a rendezvous meeting right so uh, i actually read this somewhere in uh, i mean youtube this is actually a very good practice i think you can also try this can you guys say rendezvous rendezvous yeah can you make it a little more louder like rendezvous rendezvous okay all right i hope the energy part is covered now right okay i took care of that now i would like to call upon the presidents of all the three clubs starting with uh, tm mazahir toastmaster mazahir toastmaster jayanti and toastmaster vijay please come over to the dais good morning everybody good morning uh, can you guys hear me at the back left thank you back right all good all right hi my name is mazahir 
and I welcome all of you to meeting number 23 of Whitefield Toastmaster. And I would like to pass it on to my fellow presiding officer, Toastmaster Jayanti. So I welcome you all. I welcome you all to Speaker Squad meeting number 104. I welcome everybody to the Flipmasters meeting and I can see three guests from our club who are attending the meeting. I want you to give an applause to them separately. Uh, there's one quick announcement. You guys can see this mic, folks who are online. Uh, this entire meeting is recorded. I request if there's anyone in the entire crowd who doesn't wish to be recorded, may I request you to please raise your hand now so that when it's, turn, when it's your turn to speak on the stage, we will ensure that um, we will not record you. Is there anybody who wishes not to be recorded over here? You guys can raise your hand. We're very flexible, accommodative, so we'll make sure. If there's anybody. Hi. Okay, Kevin, can you hear me? You can hear me, right? All right. Um, once again, I'll repeat the guest who just turned up. If there is anyone in the entire meeting room right now who wishes not to be recorded, Raise your hand now, otherwise let us know when it's your turn to speak, right? So with the stroke of gavel, all three present, may I request both of you to use the gavel together and I'll use this diary and with the stroke of this, while we open the meeting, I request each one of us to clap harder. I'll enter the TM body now. Uh, like everybody in our club knows he is a very crazy pet lover. Like he is a dog parent and also he has completed two years stint in Flipmasters and he has been in the company for last two years and I want to welcome Ashwin TM Modi for the day. Uh, is this bet? How does this work? Is this better or? No, let me ask. Is it better without the mic? Am I audible? Yes, this is for the recording. Of the time. For the recording. Okay. Okay. So I'll have to control my voice, right? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. First of all, let me thank everyone to be here on a Sunday. I know it's very difficult. Bangalore. Five days a week, you're traveling up and down to office and then you get two days. Saturday, you have to be with your family. You have to do, you have to go to D-Mart or you have to go to the local store. You have to do your shopping. You have to be there for your kids. For me, I have to be there for Leila, who's my pet dog. And then Sunday morning, while they both are asleep, I've woken up very quietly and stealthily, opened the cupboard, went for a shot, changed and got out of the house. And then I got a call. When did you leave? I'm like, I left at nine o'clock. Did you have breakfast? I'm like, yeah, I made breakfast. Third question. Did you make anything for me? I'm like, yeah, there's bread and toast in the, you know, microwave. You just have to heat it. So with that, thank you everyone once again for coming. A big round of applause for yourself. With that, thank you Toastmaster Vijay for that very crisp introduction about myself. I've been in Toastmasters accumulative of, of around three years. Uh, two years with Flipmasters and a one year back in 2014 when I was working in Saudi. You guys would have seen the agenda for today's meeting, right? The theme is calendar. Was anyone curious why was that the theme? Anyone at all? No, everyone's okay with that. You are curious. You are curious. Okay, so let me tell you, I blame it on the Bangalore rain. Very honestly, I blame it on the Bangalore rain. Last week and last last week, we had quite a few showers in Bangalore. This was around 4.35 p.m. Busy at work in Flipkart. One of my colleagues comes to me like, so I'm going to tell this in Hindi. One of my colleagues comes to me like, Ashwin, Mausam bahut acha ho raka hai. Haat hai. Ye ga kya? And I was like, yes, why not? Who says no to having a drink during the mid of the week? So I said, yes, sure. And that's the day when uh, my club member, VP at Arya told me there's a linkers meeting and I was very much excited for this. One, because 
a physical meeting i am a part of a physical meeting of a good 10 years it's been a good 10 years that i am a part of a physical meeting so i wanted to experience that my legs are shivering to be very honest my legs are shivering standing over here because it is very scary so i asked him we are three or four pegs down and i asked him boss there is this meeting happening mm-hmm. now it's three different clubs and three different age of clubs so how do you do it uh, so i need to present a theme what do i say is like explain more i'm like okay if how do you connect summer autumn rainy season and winter together is like calendar that's the one thing that connects all the four seasons together i'm like yeah that's stupid let's <laughs> leave it there i was riding back home so after so again i'm down a few pegs i'm riding back in my bike i'm listening to music and then i started thinking about calendar when we were in school you guys remember making that timetable on a a4 size paper yes. right side is monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and top us your 8 to 9 9 to 10 10 to 11 and then half our recess and you put a gap that was how we envision calendar then i got into college calendar changed for me i had this habit during the lecture if i am bored at it i make my own calendar and then i count how many days are left for the exam and vacations to begin and every day it's i use one notebook for whole five subjects so every day at the back i go and mark so and so days left so and so days left when i started working i started as a site engineer so calendar used to be when and where we have to go for site visit what is the kind of uh, duties that we have throughout the week and we have to present this in front of the uh, leadership uh, squad on a monday and today so why this thought came was and why i fixed on calendar was the next day i get a call in the morning ashwin your boss's calendar is so full that even pm has one hour slot during lunch break when do i get to meet him and i'm like okay so let me discuss this and let's see so that is how the whole pattern of calendar for me has made a full 360 degree shift that today morning i get in i switch on my laptop i log into gmail and first thing i look is how was the meeting how was the day planned out what does the calendar look like with this i want to ask the audience now that i have given a brief about what i think about the thing does anyone have any kind of insights to what do you think about calendar the theme of the meeting anyone at all no one some insight no one richa you've been smiling at me since the beginning so editing very true absolutely true absolutely true anyone else sure so normally as you get the office so how many meetings i have how much gap i have so that's it and uh, yeah what tasks are pending that will always come to mind face to say kind of that's what our life has become right now right yes online meetings and all that is if there is no one else i would like to step into the next part anyone else yes please that's a good one a round of applause for him please okay so i in the interest of time let me step into the next part of the meeting for the benefit of our guests here uh, are there more guests i know the ones from flipkart are there anyone else who are guests over here oh wow that's beautiful we got a lot of guests so okay so for the benefit of guests a normal toastmaster meeting happens in three sessions the first is prepare, prepared speeches sorry the first is prepared speeches where a designated speaker comes prepared and delivers a speech ranging from 5 to 7 minutes 
this will be in accordance to accordance to the pathway that he or she has selected and the objectives in every level or every project of the pathway second what we have usually is a table topic session this is more of impromptu speeches for this a uh, table topic master would be invited he can uh, he runs the show for you guys and he will explain the guidelines of how a table topic session goes and the third is the most important a general evaluation here a general evaluator who we have today comes in she or he can she or he evaluates the entire meeting from when it started to how it ends she has a team to support her with evaluators for evaluating the prepared speeches and a tag team so before i start on to the next session of the meeting let me please call in our general evaluator toastmaster jayanti she has been to give a small introduction about her to give a small introduction about her she has also been in toastmasters for the last 2 years she is the president for speaker squad club she loves reading and to sleep in her free time that's what we all love right anyway good luck i am so sorry okay good morning everyone again good morning my first question would be how many of you believe that you are the best wonderful and uh, i would say if you would be giving a speech today your evaluators would have second opinion but <laughs> no problem those of you don't believe that you are the best It's okay. That's why we are here, and I'm here. I am your general evaluator for today, and I will be evaluating everything that will take place throughout the meeting, from our sergeant at arms to the last speaker in table topics. But that's not an easy job. So I have my team of evaluators and tag team who will be supporting me with this. So I'll call them one by one to introduce their roles. First is the timer. Yes, I just need his introduction. <laughs> so our timer for today is Toastmaster Vaishak, Vaishak, and he is um, anything on Will's aficionado, and I he believes he is a global citizen. he loves food of all cuisines traveling driving he loves taking test drives of vehicles but usually keeps his opinion to himself he is a cyber security engineer and an ethical hacker by profession and he currently keeps cars secure that's a, something i don't know new to me but welcome the problem is we all think we have time but in actuality how much time do we have in life do you know how long will you exist here on this planet do you know no exactly and that's how time plays with us so always plan your speeches before it's too late So I'm your timer for today, and I'll ensure that you are keeping to your times for speeches. And for the benefit of our guests and well, everyone else today, we have two main uh, or three main, I would say, uh, criteria where we record the timings. The first is for the prepared speeches, where the speaker has about seven minutes, and this is how it will be recorded. there will be a green yellow and a red card right the green card well says that you have successfully crossed the timing for your speech to be qualified which is at 5 minutes so the speaker is expected to speak for a minimum of 5 minutes that's when the green card will be raised the yellow card will be raised at 6 minutes and the red card will be raised at 7 minutes the speaker has an additional 30 seconds after the 7th minute up to 7 uh, minutes and 30 seconds to complete his speech but the red card will stay up 
till the speech is ended. So there will not be an indication that the 7.3 or 7.5 minutes have crossed. The red card will stay up. So is this clear to all the prepared speakers today? Yes. Next, for the uh, table topics. So we have a table topic master today and we have a table topic session. For that, every speaker will be allowed a maximum of two minutes. Again, the green card will be raised at one minute, yellow card at one minute, 30 seconds, and the red card at two minutes. The speaker has an additional 30 seconds to complete a speech. Now, again, for the speech evaluators who will come and give their opinions on the prepared speakers, they have, uh, I believe it's three minutes. Yes, so two to three minutes. So the green card will be raised at two minutes, yellow card at two minutes, 30 seconds, and the uh, red card at three minutes. They have an additional 30 seconds to complete their evaluation. So is this clear to all the prepared speakers, the evaluators, and for the table topics? Right. Yes, thank you. Now, let me call upon our accounter for today, Toastmaster Ramesh. He is a garment technologist by profession. He works for Lifestyle International Private Limited. He loves to organize the events which make memorable to everyone. He believes that teamwork and collaboration are essential in achieving any goals. He is passionate about making positive impact in any way he can. Knowing him personally, I agree with it word by word. Thank you, Dr. Jayanti. Thank you, each and everyone. Today I have taken a role of our counter. Before that, I would like to explain you one scenario. You just imagine you are in the park. It's a rainy day. Your crush is coming in front of you, and she kneels down and she is proposing or he proposing to you. But during that time, you are unable to reply to that. You are saying like, mm, uh, so how they will feel? So the same scenario when you speak in Toastmaster and the listener sitting in front of you, if you are Speaking continuously, that will be well and good. Otherwise, if you are giving any fillers such as uh, um, and uh, some repetitive words, any sentences that will make you, you are not a good speaker, the listener will feel, they will disconnect from your speech. So here, my role is to count each and every one who are going to speak today. I will count off the filler sound, everything, whatever they are going to use that. At, at the end of the meeting, I will come up with my report and I will give you a suggestion as well, how we can avoid this. What you do, Mr. Jayanti? Thank you. Now I call upon our grammarian for today. It was a last-minute take-up, so I do not have his intro. Over to Toastmaster Rishal. Thank you, Toastmaster Jayanti. For our theme of the day calendar, I had something in my mind which I wanted to say was that whenever I look at a calendar, office calendar. I always see on top of every day who is going to be not present in office, who is on leave on that particular day. Now, whenever I see someone who, who is a manager or a peer to me who is on leave, I don't know why I feel joyous. It's not that I work less that day or something like that, but I feel very relieved that someone is on leave that day. I don't know if you feel that way, but that's for me. As a role of a grammarian, I would be taking notes of the outstanding words or phrases that you say and also the improper language that comes across as we speak. As a grammarian, I would have the responsibility to announce the word of the day. The word of the day being chronology. I repeat, the word of the day being chronology. The meaning states the arrangement of events or dates in the order of their occurrence. An example in a sentence might be, it is important to establish the chronology of events. That's it. I'll hand, hand it over to Toastmaster Jain. Thank you, Toastmaster Rishabh. So that's my tag team and I will be back at the end of the meeting with hopefully one constructive feedback mm -hmm. and something that you will take away. Over to you, Toastmaster Ashwin. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Jayanti. With that, let's start with our first session today, which is as per chronology, it is prepared speeches. 
Okay, we have three prepared speeches for the day. Let me introduce to you the first speaker. Oh, wait. Let me introduce to you the first evaluator who will be calling out the objectives of the speaker's speech. Toastmaster Gopinath. Good morning. It's okay, I'll hold on to that. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning sir. Nice to be in front of a such a big crowd. In fact, huge crowd. Good. So today the speaker is attempting the project of L4P2 from presentation in mastery. Am I right? Where is uh, Priya? Okay. Presentation mastery, right? Okay. It's about social media and uh, the purpose of this speech is for the speaker to understand in her understand how to enhance the social media, established social media uh, presence or her experience or understand how to create a new social media presence. And the speaker is expected to give a well organized speech in sharing some of her experience in enhancing an established social media or creating a social media, a new social media presence. All the best to the speaker. And over to the Thank you, Toastmaster Gopinath. Our first speaker for the day is Toastmaster Priya Agarwal. She is professionally a chartered accountant working as a senior tax consultant in ENY. She loves to read, write, and dance, and loves spending a lot of time with her family. With that, let me call upon Toastmaster Priya. For the benefit of the speakers, this device is only for the purpose of recording. It does not enhance your voice, so kindly speak loudly. With that, Toastmaster Priya, the topic of the speech is a journey of addiction and empowerment. A journey of addiction and empowerment, Toastmaster Priya. Have you ever gone two days without WhatsApp and Instagram? What is your last used social media app? <laughs> and uh, what is your average weekly screen timing? Good morning. Good morning, fellow Toastmasters and my dear friends. Today, I'm going to delve into the world of social media and share a chronology of events that made uh, that made me addict, that made it a uh, an important part of my life so back in 2018 i fumbled up, uh, tumbled upon whatsapp and grew addicted to it and the addiction increased to such an extent that i uh, realized that it interfered with my studies and it decreased my con con concentration on studies so Viewing everyone's status updates and profile pictures became a nightly ritual. To regain focus, I decided to delete the app and reinstall it only after clearing my exams with flying colors. Now, let me ask you another question. How many of you are known the term personal branding? I'm sure many of you might have heard it. For those who haven't, Personal branding is a phenomenon by which we tend to make ourselves more marketable and competitive to remain uh, relevant in this corporate world. Recently, I found myself pondering over this phenomenon. I tried to find out new ways that makes me marketable and relevant to gain new opportunities that come in my professional journey. So, uh, uh, one fine day, I realized, why not leverage the power of social media? With this, initially, I had reservations about sharing my thoughts on a professional platform like LinkedIn. And hence, I started to write updates relating to my field 
that is taxation and finance in Instagram. In a few days of time, I realized that Instagram is not the correct platform because people mm -hmm. use it to view visual contents, that is reels. So gradually, I grew addicted towards LinkedIn. For the first few days, I started immersing myself over the articles shared by industry professionals and double reading it with, reading it with double attention and compared it with my own thoughts. This exercise helped me to validate the accuracy of my thoughts and provided valuable insights. One fine day, I decided to take the leap of faith. I got one subject which was either unknown or known to only avid news readers. TikTok, it was the time of a LinkedIn post. But penning down my thoughts into an article was not an easy task. It took me more than three hours to condense my thoughts into a 15-liner article, which was small but impactful. And in the evening, late evening, after finishing my office work, I decided to post it in LinkedIn. To the next day, to my surprise, I saw it had gathered 20 likes and no negative comment. This particular incident bolstered my confidence. Slowly, I started writing more on LinkedIn and shifted to a, and concentrated on my core field of expertise, expertise, which is indirect taxation. One post which was involving a demand of 21,000 crores, a tax demand of 21,000 crores went viral and it gathered 96 likes and 12,000 plus impression. This one post gave me a huge amount of confidence and from that day, there was no looking back. Reflecting back on my journey, now I can feel the change in myself. I can feel the change in myself. Six months back, I have never ever imagined that I would be writing on LinkedIn and dismiss my ideas, thinking it as insignificant and never ever thought of putting it into action. But now, seeing the change in myself, I would urge each and every one of you to put your thoughts into action. Never underestimate the power of trying and the importance of taking that first step. So, and social media has indeed become an integral part of our lives. Just like any tool, it has its own sets of advantages and disadvantage. disadvantages. It is true that it is more addictive, but at the same time provides avenues for personal branding, self-discovery, and a lot way of lot of more opportunities. It is up to us to use it to our advantages and not to let it kill our valuable time. But to, from overcoming the addiction of WhatsApp to using LinkedIn to strengthen my own personal brand, I think I have somewhat mastered the art of using social media to my advantage. Have you? Thank you, Toastmaster Priya. That was a wonderful one. With no further ado, let us get on to our next speaker. And before I call upon our next speaker, let me please call upon the evaluator, Toastmaster Richard Agarwal. Hi, everyone. I would be evaluating Toastmaster Akshay today, who is delivering his level two speech, Effective Body Language. The purpose of this project is for Toastmaster Akshay to deliver a speech with the awareness of intentional and unintentional body language. He has to learn, practice and refine how he uses the non-verbal communication to his advantage in his speeches. With that, Toastmaster Akshay has to deliver a, a well-organized speech on any topic that he chooses. It could be informational, humorous. That, tell, that shall to pass. When I was in the final year of graduation, companies started pouring in for the mass recruitment, what we call as. Count with me. I sat for TCS, I sat for Infosys, I sat for IBM, I sat for HCL. 
Rockwell Collins, and few more. I was not selected. There were six lakh mates in the final year of graduation, and four out of them got the jobs in the seventh semester itself. What a moment of glory for them, and what a moment of shame for me and my other remaining friend. We were questioning our credibility and abilities. Do we even have it in us? We were happy for our mates, were who got selected, but deep inside we were upset. Whenever we used to go to any get-togethers, people used to ask us questions like, "You are trying hard. Don't worry. You will be, you will get selected." They used to console us. Who wants to get consoled like that? We were not kids. We knew the basics of human behavior. I knew. he was happy for himself deep inside and that's natural but what about me what about my life the air semester was just like a nightmare i used to get regular calls from my family just to get any job updates if any there were so many harsh questions popping in my head day in and day out questions like what if this final 6 months also gets over and and i do not get a job what if even after trying so hard i do not get a job who will pay my education loan how cruel will i sound if i ask my already burdened father to repay my education loan as well but ladies and gentlemen little did i know this too shall pass I graduated in May 2015. I got my job in June 2015, very last in the batch, and joined in August 2015, very first in my batch. And my other remaining friend, who did not get the job, was selected as an officer in Indian Air Force. He cleared the SSB interview. I was happy. I was really very happy. coming to the current year in the beginning of 2023 i really wanted to learn some special skill some unique skill and therefore i joined toastmasters i was so lucky to get a batch of inspiring mentors fellow toastmasters here and i was really pumped up in the initial few months and therefore i, I was on the speech marathon i gave so many speeches received regular feedback from amazing mentors and evaluators implemented those feedbacks in the upcoming speeches i took the role of table topic master several times and by the grace of god and the joint effort of everyone my effort was acknowledged and i got the toast master of the month for the month of march and april consecutively i was really very happy but ladies and gentlemen now i know this too shall pass at last i just want to convey to you all if at any point of time in your life you feel like situation is out of your hand you feel hopeless you feel dismissed by the society you feel pissed off on the situation just remember my words that shall too pass and ladies and gentlemen don't forget if at any point of time in your life you feel like you get all the answers you have cracked everything about life everyone around you is getting you you are you having the feeling of getting worshiped then ladies and gentlemen that shall too pass time and time is your only ally and if nothing else is falling in your favor just wait wait it out thank you over to you thank you to master akshay that was a wonderful speech now moving on to the third speaker before i call upon the third speaker let me please call upon her evaluator toastmaster atul
Thank you, Toastmaster Ashwin. Uh, good afternoon to everyone here. When I first heard this title of today's meeting in a poster, Rendezvous, uh, I had recently watched the series Rendezvous and it was kind of associated with a secret affair. So hopefully we are, uh, I thought that maybe this three clubs meeting is a secret affair for a long term and nobody else knows about it. So I'm evaluating a speech for the first time and the speaker is also giving her a speech for the first time in person. I think both of us deserve a good round of applause. <laughs> the speaker would be delivering level one, project three, following the chronology from the pathway innovative planning. The purpose is to use vocal variety or body language. Though as requested by the speaker, she wants to get evaluated on both the fronts. A bit about her, the speaker hails from Kerala and she loves exploring new places, new things and new experiences. Timer, please note the time limit for the speech is 5 to 7 minutes. All the best to our speaker. Back to Toastmaster Shri. Thank you Toastmaster Atul made my job easier by introducing the speaker. With that let me call upon Toastmaster Arya. Her speech topic is Little Things. Speech topic Little Things. And for you, Toastmaster Arya. Good morning, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Good morning. Happiness is in little things. You have all heard about this, right? But have you tried thinking intentionally about the things that make you happy, the little things? So um, I'll tell you the story of how I reached this topic. I'm the VP head of my club, and it was a usual Thursday evening for me. I had prepared the agenda for the Friday's weekly meeting and uh, circulated it beforehand. So. Unfortunately, one of the teammates had some emergency and he had to back off. And his role was TMOD. So what I did, I rolled up my sleeves and decided to be the TMOD for the next day's week meeting. And what is the most confusing part of being TMOD? For me, it's selecting the right theme. So I was sitting on my bed thinking about what to select as a theme when my roommate entered the room. I asked her to suggest few themes. And it was, I remember the Valentine's week, and I think she was in some other mood. Within five minutes, she came up with this uh, theme, little things. I liked this theme so much, and I appreciated her enough. And I thought it will be a good experience for all of us to think about the little things that make us happy and then share it amongst us. So as a first experiment, I asked her, what is the little thing that makes her happy? And she said, Going for a walk with her boyfriend and having ghee masala dosha from A to B is what makes her happy. When I thought about this more, I thought this is a good topic for a speech. So for the next one week, I just did a research on the little things that make people around me happy. So when I thought about myself, two things came to my mind that makes me happy. The first thing is sitting at my home on a sofa in the living room and watching an old Malayalam movie is the thing that makes me most happy. It may sound very silly, but the kind of bliss I feel when I do that, I don't think I can explain it to you in words. The second thing I remember is like going to my home, sitting in the bus, when the wind blows onto my face, I kind of feel an ecstasy. It, I feel so energetic, positive, and my head feels empty and this is what makes me very happy. So when I shared this with my friend, she said, these are things that make you happy, but they are not little enough. Then I told her on a working day, closing my laptop and after the last meeting, going out and having a pani puri makes me happy. Then she said, ah, this is close enough. So the next thing I did is I asked my sister what makes her happy. Even before she replied, I knew her answer because she's a person who loves all species of animals in this world. When we were small children, our neighbors used to tie ox near our house, 
uh, on the roadside. I personally consider an ox as an ox. So, but while coming back from school, she used to run to this ox and look at his face and used to say things. How the ox feels. One day it will be like, see, look at his face, he's looking so happy today. Another day it will be like, see, he's upset, something has happened. And some other day it will be like, see, he's looking at and smiling at us today, right? I initially I used to wonder like what she is seeing on the straight blank face. And with months of practice, I started seeing what she was saying. But still now, I don't have the talent to see it on my own. Every time she has to tell me and then I can see it. So even before she replied, I knew what makes her happy. It's seeing her little kittens running around, shaking their cute little bums. So that weekend I went home. And my friend came home and my mother made tea. My mother was bringing tea to the living room and I saw his face brightening up. And he said, oh, this tea has so much froth and I like it. And that's the moment when I realized how the littlest of things can brighten up someone's mood. And when he shared this with my mother, she also felt so happy. Actually, it's having such little moments and sharing such little things that create strong bonds, right? It is such moments that make us uh, forget all the big things that we have in our head, all the big plans we have, all the things we need to do, all the things we are supposed to do. And then we start living at that moment. But we seldom acknowledge those moments and we seldom try to spend some time intentionally thinking about it and trying to do this. So have you seen this Chef Pille restaurant opposite to the Phoenix Mall? Yes. At least some of you have seen it, I think. Like last day I saw an interview of its owner. He's a person who grew up in very humble backgrounds. He started his career in his early 20s as a security guard. And then he started working as a waiter at a restaurant. He started cooking for the staff at the restaurant. Slowly he started cooking for the customers. He got trained as a chef. He started uh, working as chef in famous five star restaurants. And now he owns a chain of five star restaurants. So when the interviewer asked him what makes him happy, he told, he thinks we need to keep our bar for happiness really low. Going out on a day, meeting a new person, talking to that person and getting to know something new about that person is enough to make him happy for the whole day, he said. I think this is the best thing to conclude this speech with. We need to find those little things that may not have a price tag, but have tremendous value. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Arya. Once again, a beautiful speech. With that, we end our first session for today's Toastmasters meeting. That was three beautiful speeches. And let me congratulate all the three speakers for having completed one more project. <laughs> Let's quickly get on to the next session, which is the table topic session. For this, let me introduce and call upon our Table Topics Master, Toastmaster Saurabh Mukherjee. He is someone who loves learning new topics and things that are generic or do not have a constraint to any field. And he also loves imparting them for those who find them useful. He enjoys walking, yoga, going to the gym and swimming. Also, he loves trying different dishes as, as he is a gastronome. With that, Toastmaster Saurabh Mukherjee. Good morning, it's good afternoon everyone. Yeah, so uh, we already have a uh, prepared speeches. Uh, this one is for uh, impromptu speeches, uh, like uh, when you will not be comfortable when asked to come and speak uh, suddenly without any preparation. So that is the thing. And uh, the examples are like when you're asked to come to a friend's farewell, 
or when your boss is, has asked you to share his uh, your uh, comments on for the meeting the meeting something like that so what happening is like i will be requesting so requesting non role takers and guest to come and uh, prepare like come and give the uh, the table topic speaks speeches so it will help you in in like uh, cultivating non prepared speeches and when to speak how to speak in a concise and uh, precise manner so i think that's it clear now yeah so so i will i have a topic here so i will request the guest to come and select the topic and start the speech anyone can raise your hand a non role taker and guest <laughs> i know it is a hard topic but suddenly help yeah please imaginary society okay so guru prasad has taken the topic imaginary society guru prasad imaginary society imaginary society guru prasad okay good afternoon to all so before going to this topic so there is one proverb i don't know whether it is there in all the language or not but whenever you feel that the mud smell is coming what it indicates it's it will be raining right so similarly if tar smell is coming what it indicates sorry yeah exactly not road your answer is right that election is coming <laughs> right so recently election has happened in karnataka right? so you can see imaginary society so all the parties will give some sort of creating society right in their own way that will gives that imagination irrespective of parties right so you know that recently one government they have formed they have given some five guarantees so from the day one they told that uh, free current in karnataka but in my layout after the results came we have current free karnataka means there is shut down from last uh, one week so almost current is not there so we will go into an imaginary society that okay we don't have to bother we don't have to spend some time to earn right so you can easily sit comfortably in house and we can get in many things so that kind of imaginary situation will come society uh, that idea will come but is it really true we don't know we have to wait and see in a similar manner every year we will imagine our own society right means my family should be like this my neighbor should be like this and our state should be like this and our country so for example we have one great uh, uh, so to conclude this so everyone has to imagine their own society and we, we should work to achieve that one so that we can uh, uh, live our life in a better way thank you i would request another guest a non role taker sorry hello my name is alpita okay it's me it's okay the name is so taking the theme of time calendar a calendar where time generates memories so we have a topic here arpita good memories good memories arpita uh, good afternoon everyone yes yeah. so 
I'll just put it here. Good afternoon, everyone. So Arpita here. So my topic is good memories. So I'm 23 right now. And till the time that I've been here, I mean, I, I came to Bangalore in November. And since the time I've, I've been here, I've had very, very good memories. I've been to Nandi Hills. I've been to many places. I've been to places with my friends who are here. And they have been a really good, they have been a really good memory. Um, so I talk about a, a thing that happened yesterday. So I went out with my friends, which was very impromptu plan, but I did not, I did not know that it would turn out to be a, such a good memory. It was fun. We had, uh, we went out with friends who are a bit strangers, we did not know, but we got to know them. And yeah, that's it for the first time. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, any other guest? Yeah, please. So this topic, so we have, we, we work full day, we have a good time, bad times and we, we, we are tired. So it is a one of our friend who help us in reviving. The topic is for that. So it's a race, yeah, Resma, pet helping us to revive, pet helping us to revive Resma. Hi everyone. A one liner about me, I'm Rishma Joy, I'm a chartered accountant, I work at Flipkart. So this topic is actually contrary because I'm not a pet lover. So there is no experience from my life to say about pets helping me revive because I am afraid of pets. So there is nothing to relate out of my life, but I have a, a simple memory or a trail of memories which I, which I want to share with you regarding my auntie. So my auntie has two daughters, so they got married and also they left. So uh, her husband bought her a pet. And they named her Leah. It's a small dog. I'm really scared of her. I don't even go nearby her. But auntie loves her like their daughter, her daughter. Like she just pampers her, gives her food, like cleans her, gives her her variety of foods that she would love to. She's like a human being. She even carried, she, she even eat vegetables, like not, not just chicken and meat fills her stomach. So when I observed it, it was like, I couldn't relate it to me because basically I'm not a pet lover. So I can't imbibe that quality at any point of time is what I believe. I tried, but I couldn't. But observing auntie, what I understood is animals are also that version of happiness. Like Arya said, little things that can also bring happiness to many lives. I've read in a book that one pet who changed the perspectives of a man regarding how to be kind kind and how to be caring to others not even just to human beings to every creatures and even to nature to love everything or to feel that empathy to everyone requires that feeling within ourselves i think pets are a medium for that even though i have no self experience to say so to all pet lovers here you are helping reviving yourself and also to people around you as i felt happy seeing my auntie being happy with her pet thank you Yeah, one more, please. Yeah, please. Mm -hmm. Unplanned items. Okay, so this one is also to a chronological things, which is sometime happen, sometime not happen. So Saloni, unplanned items, unplanned items, Saloni. Hello everyone, my name is Saloni, good afternoon. So my topic for today is unplanned items. Now when I start speaking about that, it is as unplanned as it could be. Like sometimes I just get up in the morning, I want to do something, my mobile is in, in my hand, and uh, just a notification comes from Mintra, I open the app and I see an item, I see a dress, oh, I really need this, I have a birthday party and if I wear this, I am going to look, I am going to stand out from everyone. I feel this a lot, like I feel this is a lot of impulse driven thing and this is what uh, 
coming to coming on a serious note this is what a lot of technology is doing around us it is making us do unplanned things and the planned things go into the back seat when we start doing this unplanned things and uh, this was on a very serious note on a fun note an unplanned thing can be that today some day i start my work at the, uh, start my day at work i decide that okay today i am going to focus a lot at least 2 hours at a stretch i'm not going to disturb myself and suddenly one of my friend comes at see you know what the boss told me come let's go for a cup of tea it was not planned in my agenda in fact i had planned to not to do it but i end up doing it so i think a lot of unplanned items fill our day fill our life some are good also because sometimes we are in in middle of a very hectic day we don't know how we are doing it we are not even productive and we just keep doing it so sometimes those unplanned things come as a good experience and sometimes it's a bad thing that's all thank you i am concluding this part now uh, ashwin please mm -hmm. Thank you, Toastmaster Sawar. Now that was a good selection of topics, right? These were very uh, relatable. Like for me, at least, all the topics was very much relatable. So once again, thank you for those kind of a uh, brilliant selection of topics. Again, uh, now comes the third session of today's uh, of the Toastmaster meeting general evaluation. Without wasting much time, let me please call upon stage our general evaluator for the day, Toastmaster Jayanti. So we have come to the evaluation section. We will first start the evaluation with our evaluators, speech evaluators. So I will call upon them, call them one by one. First of all, for our first speech, I would like to call Toastmaster Gopinathan to present his evaluation. Yeah, it's okay. Good morning once again, and uh, especially to our uh, wonderful speaker, Priya. So it was a very interesting speech. Being a person who is kind of away from all these social media except WhatsApp, I'm addicted, I would say. And I was just looking forward to this speech and I'm totally satisfied. And the speech was very valuable for me because it had excellent values from a very young person that before her uh, exams, it was really affecting because of the addiction. And she had the not only the courage, I would say it is very important to realize that you are addicted because many people they go deep into the addiction because they don't realize. So she has real, realized you have realized uh, your addiction and you have taken action by getting rid of WhatsApp and focusing on your studies and sure enough you have come out with flying colors. That is very nice of you and it's a good value from the speech. Next thing is that when you started on your professional life, you were on uh, Instagram and things like that and you very quickly realized that that is not what you wanted and you wanted something more professional like LinkedIn where all the leaders and all influencers like CEOs of the companies are sharing their views and articles. So you got on to the right platform very quickly. That is very good uh, value on your speech. Third thing is that the adherence on the speech project that you, sh you are supposed to share your experience on how you enhanced it and established social media presence or created something new. So you were thinking how to be a part of this and uh, show yourself, portray yourself or uh, how to market, self-market. So you thought about it and worked on it and you come out with a, a good uh, article on finance and on the subject and it got 96 likes. I don't know whether that is a big number or small number. I don't know about it but from your speech I understand that also got a lot of uh, other accolades on your speech. That is very good of you. And that is uh, excellent uh, adherence to the speech. So I really enjoyed the whole values and your uh, overall speech content. Coming to a little bit of improvement, I have a couple of uh, suggestions for you. One is I would like to know after that what happened. Whether you sustained that uh, your presence and what happened maybe a little bit longer about your sustenance 
on the enhancement of social media person that is number one number two this being your uh, level four speech i would appreciate you to show a little bit more of other uh, aspects of uh, uh, an organized speech like your body language or probably using the speech you have a huge audience using the speech a little bit and your voice variation and things like that 96 likes something like that you can leave a pause so that it gets sunk into the audience those kind of things uh, I would have appreciated to enhance your speech because it is a level four speech and uh, uh, because you were uh, in between I am seeing you were trying to remember your speech so that shows a little bit of additional practice required so when you really practice your speech very well you don't have to focus on it will just come natural flow then you can utilize the other the speed the stage and the voice variation your other skills you have to deliver the speech for an excellent delivery notwithstanding i really enjoyed your speech it had a lot of values and the flow was really good and really uh, excellent speech for a young audience over to you that is addiction to empowerment thank you Oh, sorry. You were asking for the mic. I thought you were asking for the book. Thank you, Toastmaster Gopinathan, for that wonderful speech evaluation. I agree with all of your points, and you covered whatever I could have uh, added uh, on top of that. The one thing that I would like to tell Toastmaster Priya, knowing her personally, um, being at your level four speech, I would request you to give speeches, go to other platforms, other clubs. That would help you with your body language, your sorry, your voice variation. With that, we will move to our second speech evaluation. I would hand over the mic to Toastmaster Richard. Hello everyone and Toastmaster Akshay. I'd like to start with three things which I th really liked about your evaluation, uh, sorry, your speech today. Universality, your voice modulation and your hand gestures. So when you are coming and delivering a speech on effective body language, one of the key things is that you have a story and the story appeals to the audience so that they like it, right? Everything about your speech was i think very familiar to the audience that way i at least was able to connect to it you're talking about 11th standard you're talking about graduation you're talking about toastmasters right everything i really liked the way you structured it as well so kudos to you for that second thing which i think went really well is your voice modulation uh, not just uh, your pitch but your volume use of volume and pauses i really liked all of those let's take uh, take a look when you said moment of glory for them or um, for your roommates right and you ask questions what if and all of those so your volume your pitch kind of uh, went a bit higher and that grabbed my attention that brought my attention if, if ever it was wavering anywhere i came back to your speech and i listened more intently from there so i liked it uh, a lot and again for your pauses right you ask this question what about me and you paused so uh, that is something which really went well in your speech. You used pauses, volume uh, very well throughout your speech today. The third thing, hand gestures. Let's look at this. High up in the sky or this too shall pass or the fact that you counted emphasis, PCS, right? A lot of those. So you were aware and it came very naturally to you. The hand gestures where you should place your hands when. So. A lot of things went really good in, in your speech today. Coming to points which I can, which I think you can improve on. Considering it was a speech on effective body language, I would like to give two points for your body language. The first, eye contact. Uh, when you were speaking, you took pauses. But all through those pauses, I noticed that you were looking down, you looked up, you moved around, you looked this side. Try and have eye contact with the audience. Maybe pick one or two faces or at least the back walls, not too high up, not too low. That's one of the tricks which does for me in person. 
the second you were on the stage you were present you were comfortable however your movements although you were moving were just random uh, it felt like yeah you're moving you're trying to use but i would like you to um, like you to focus on the fact that it, stage can be used effectively let's think of this you talked about 11 standard you start with here you talked about your graduation come here you talked about toastmasters start from here so that people know you have a chronology right use the stage for that that's one of the ways you can uh, this is one tip i would like to give you although your speech was so effective when you used this too shall pass i really liked it you added that one line at the end time and something time and time you might want to get rid of that and end it this too shall pass with that i loved your speech you have all the ingredients to become a fantastic speaker just work on these small aspects and you are good to it with that back to you Thank you Toastmaster Richa, a very well summarized evaluation I should say and the speaker had a very good message, this too shall pass. One thing that I noticed and I would like to bring it is you had a very good volume with your speech, very high volume. One thing that I would like to say is explore with little lower volume because that would catch audience's attention. Now I would like to call upon our third evaluator. Of course, I should have called the timer, but I forgot um, for the speeches. Uh, if you could come. Um, yes. Okay, then you can call it later. Okay. So I would like to call our third evaluator for today, Toastmaster Atul. Again, a good afternoon, everybody, and a special one to Toastmaster Arya Vereshi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Happiness is in little things. A very simple topic, at the same time, a very deep thought provoking as well. And I think uh, I would give a big congratulations to you that you made the purpose of the speech today with the personal stances and the story of the security guard and your takes that you shared with us. Now, coming to the good points that I liked, I liked the way that you kept your attention, that you caught all of our attention the whole time. At the same time, that you maintained a captivating smile throughout, and that was very much in conjugation with the topic, that happiness is in little things. It kind of felt that you were feeling this throughout, and you made us believe in the theme as well, in the topic as well. The clarity in the language and the content, it was easily understandable. It was very evident that you believed in discovering little things and you made us believe the same too. For the areas where you can work upon, uh, that was connected to your purpose as well, the body language and the vocal modulation. So the body mo mo movement, while I know that it was for your first time coming to the stage, you did maintain your composure the whole time. I like that you did not do unnecessary body movements. But at the same time, uh, I wanted that you use the stage completely, le left and right. This coupled with an eye movement, eye contact with the left and right audience, that could have made a bigger impact. At the same time, another thing that I want to point out, that your speech had an abrupt ending. Like if you can feel the security guard story that you were telling in the end, where you gave the message that we need to keep the bar low. That was very well given, but at the same time, that should have been concluded with a, with a profound uh, subject, with a profound matter. Now, as a challenge for your next projects, I would like you to involve different set of tones in your speech, like a aggressive tone, a questioning tone, a formal tone, informal tone, different kind of tones that you can study upon and that you can incorporate your next projects. Uh, what helps me in incorporating new things is I imagine a teacher who evaluates me and teaches me those things. So that can help you further in incorporating those things. Overall, I felt 
द स्पीच टू बी वेल क्राफ्टेड इमोशनली कनेक्टेड थॉट प्रोवोकिंग आई वुड पर्सनली वॉन्ट टू कनेक्ट विथ यू आफ्टर दिस सेशन एंड फॉर फर्स्टली गिविंग फर्दर इवेल्युएशन एज वेल एज रिसीव इवेल्युएशन ऑन माई इवेल्युएशन आई एम लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू टेकिंग यू मोर प्रोजेक्ट्स एज वेल एज आई वॉन्ट यू टू विटनेस दोज एज वेल थैंक यू Thank you, Toastmaster Atul, for that wonderful evaluation again. Toastmaster Arya, wonderful speech, and I am taking something from your speech that keeping our happiness bar lower. Maybe the world is so depressed, I don't know, but <laughs> we'll keep the happiness bar lower. So anything that comes good, we'll just be happy. But other than that, to help you, uh, what the evaluator has pointed, I would request you. to practice in front of a mirror he mentioned that thinking of a teacher so i would request you to use mirror as much as possible also toastmaster priya that would help you improve your body language tone using the stage everything so with that i would now like to call our tag team to present the report first timer toastmaster vesha are you all alive yes very good <laughs> so uh well all of you made my life really easy because i have a very very small report here to present for the timer uh taking uh, or going by the chronology of events we have the first is prepared speeches and uh i would like to say all speakers were well within time so a big round of applause next moving on to the table topics we have one speaker who did not qualify uh, but that is by 2 seconds so i leave it up to the general vato and the presiding officer to take a decision uh can we qualify all right so then there are no speakers who have been disqualified so a big round of applause to our guests as well now coming to the third segment where i will be timing the speech evaluations and two evaluators have exceeded the time limit so they are uh, disqualified and the there's one evaluator who was well within time but again i check with the presiding officer is it okay to all right so then no one is disqualified today a happy day for everyone thank you <laughs> Thank you, Toastmaster Vaishak. Now I would like to call upon our our founder for today, Toastmaster Ramesh, to present his report. Thank you, Toastmaster Jaindi. Good afternoon, everyone. Once again, today the session was very well organized. I should say, I failed to get even a single filler from one person. That is, Mr. Akshay. today i failed because of him but i'm happy for that so apart from that there are three fillers we have used frequently the first one was a sound all of together we have used 42 times in which only few members have used more than that uh, one i would say um, post master of the day mr ashwin uh, since i think he spoke a lot today <laughs> he obviously has to used to fill it next one is a saurav he used next to that so apart from that all the people are spoken very nicely the next filler sound was and so whenever we don't have any sentence or any words to continue our speech so normally we tend to use the filler and instead of that there are plenty of words in english you can use it moreover however nevertheless there are plenty of words for that what we have to do we have to take a pass i learn today from mr akshay he took many passes he took time to think about next sentence what he has to speak that is a one of the best way to avoid your filler sound in your speech whenever you get a time definitely your brain will work in back end it will create your new sentence 
if you don't have a time to think about that you cannot speak continuously so take your time speak slowly speak slow as much as possible that doesn't mean that you are not giving a good speech here the content of speech is they should understand your speech the listeners should be able to link your topic that's it very simple there is no in such a case that whoever is speaking in a good english fast english they are a good speaker no he should speak to the listener they have to understand our thoughts that's it the third one it was like many places we used to like whenever we are referring something instead of that like we can tell refer to that according to that there are plenty of other connectors also there so we can use that as well so overall the meeting was well it went good actually that's it from my end from our corner over to dr master jayanti thank you to us master ramesh for those useful tips now i would like to call to us master rishav to present his gramedian wow it's a full house it's hard to understand that sitting in the front uh, today i would like to exclaim and point out what are the what were the good phrases that everyone used and where we can improve on the phrases that each one of us has used i would like to start with ashwin using the phrase for the benefit of and with no further ado priya used dwell upon and tumbled upon whatsapp as she used in her sentence then she used phenomena and immersing myself using words like this had a great impact on her speech also she used the phrase bolstered my confidence which means boosts your confidence boost your confidence and bolstered your con my confidence it sounds very different and it but has the same meaning meaning to it akshay used little did i know a lot of times so that's that was his prime uh, phrase in his speech and also used feel dismissed by society now this is such a huge phrase feeling dismissed you you are giving a impact that no one is considering you at all time and tide is your only ally that is also a great phrase by toastmaster akshay atul used hails from kerala for uh, the speaker that he was evaluating and captivating smile conjugation with other things these were the great phrases that toastmaster atul used along with that arya used ecstasy as the as a phrase which means positive thinking also i would like to point out guru prasad from our table topic masters table topics used uh, the okay i'll come to that later reshma used trail of memories we can we we can also use a different words like my uh, the memories that have been in the past but using the word the phrase trail of memories gives a highly impact so these are the phrases that i would like to imbibe upon you and so that you can use it in your daily lives and leave a huge impact now in in the phrases that what that 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 can be improved upon was that yeah so toastmaster akshay had used spent one of the nights on on the railway platform over there you could have used spend one night on the railway platform atul used big congratulations or big impact whereas you could have used huge congratulations or huge impact giving a highly having a great impact we can also have a, a one of the speaker used most happy apart uh, not using most happy use happiest Guru Prasad in in his speech uh, pointed out said that shut down in the last week rather than saying that he could have phrased it in shut down during the last week. Reshma used the word feel empathy to everyone rather than saying that feel empathy with everyone. Now that is what I could have uh, done with my evaluation. I hope I was fair and square. if not please let me know after the meeting thank you everyone thank you toast master rishav now coming to overall evaluation rendezvous as always 
one mega event and i'm so delighted to see so many of you here but what happened the meeting started 15 minutes late late but that's okay because three clubs are collaborating and some people might be coming from far so that's fine coming to the president address three presidents came together and opened the meeting with the gavel wonderful our toast master of the day toast master ashwin very good job because you kept the audience engaged you maintained the eye contact and you make sure that the energy is intact throughout the meeting very good job coming to the speakers excellent speeches toast master priya toast master arya and toast master akshay all had very good messages that audience audience will take away something then coming to the evaluators again very well summarized evaluations our last is the table topic master so table topic instructions were given since there were guests and uh, non role takers you encouraged them to take part that was good i would just request you to uh, keep your voice little louder so that the last last row people could also hear other than that there is one thing since uh, for the first time i believe table topic speakers some of you might be guests and this could be your first time oh just uh, from broad perspective what i found is we find little difficult to conclude our speech we just hear the topic and then we just keep saying and there is a timer so suddenly red card and we are not conclude we have not concluded and then suddenly one line comes okay that's all that's from me so that is why take part in table topics as much as you can because that will help you organize your thought listen the topic think and put your words and conclude well other than that, other than that i have nothing i could have uh, introduced not introduced i could have called upon timer in the starting so that he could have given timing before the evaluators but uh, but everything went well and i'm very happy to announce that it was a very well organized session and very nicely done over to you to master ashwin thank you to master jayanti thank you to master jayanti for that well uh, organized evaluation for the whole club with that as a toastmaster my duty ends here thank you to all the three club leads who had taken part in organizing this and thank you for the opportunity for uh, thank you for having given me the opportunity to be here as the tmod this was a wonderful experience and a wonderful crowd also and uh, my confidence goes in a much better way when i go out of this room with that i call back up onto the stage all the three presiding officers so that we can have an end to the meeting <laughs> over and back to josh macha mazar thank you so much thank you um, everybody we all can stand here so photographers can take a picture uh, meanwhile I see a lot of guests over here. Some of us are known, some of us are not known. So the entire executive committee of our club was struggling to understand how will we make sure that the voting link reaches to everybody. So we came up with this idea and we said, "What are we going to do right now? I'll explain the voting procedure to all of you, and we'll do a spot voting. Are you all game with me? Yes. All right, cool. Because this room has a lot of yoga energy, and I was watching those asanas in the corner." trying at least one of them on the almira figured the only thing that i'm good at is closing my eyes is that okay so how we will do this i have two other presiding officers with me and we'll make a note of who has won for each role so we in this role we have uh, four di different segments one is a supporting role player then the main role player you heard three speakers you also heard three speech evaluation with the permission of both presiding officers we have included all of them and qualified all of them and you also heard four table topic speakers so how the voting is going to work example so we have uh, you know example vijay here jayanti here and mazahir here right 
and let's say uh, the best runner award goes to and then you I'm going to say a name example Jayanti and you all can raise your hand please only raise it once if you voted for one person do not raise it again fair and square everybody with me on this yeah all, all there with me okay cool yeah I'm, I'm looking at each one of you like if there's anybody who has a question ask me later okay so um, we'll proceed now the first voting will be done for the best role player there are three role players who played a major role today one being the toastmaster of the day so we have toastmaster ashwin second being the general evaluator toastmaster jayanti and third being the table topic master toastmaster saurabh I'm going to go one by one. It will become easy for the future role players. I request all of you to close your eyes, please. I'm a really good watcher. So I'll take names if there is anybody who hasn't. Please close your eyes. Thank you. Anuja, thank you. Um, okay, may I request you to raise your hand if you would like to vote for the best role play for today's meeting as... Toast master of the day, Toast master Ashwin. Please raise your hand for Ashwin. Please keep your eyes closed. Thank you. Hold your hand down. Thank you. Second role player. Okay, keep your eyes closed. Second role player for the best role player vote is for our general evaluator, Toast master Jayanti. Thank you. You can keep your hands down. Thank you. The third one being for the table topic master, Toastmaster Saurabh. Please raise your hand. Thank you so much. It's going to be the instant announcement. So keep your eyes closed. I love this moment. I think some of you are meditating already. Good thing. Keep smiling. We'll move on with the second role player. Best supporting role player. Now this is going to be among the four. You heard the sergeant at arm as Toastmaster Kevin. You heard Timer as Toastmaster Vaishak, our counter as Toastmaster Ramesh, and Grammarian as Toastmaster Rishabh. Now I'll ask you one by one, if for the best supporting role player, Sergeant Atam, Toastmaster Kevin, please raise your hand. Thank you. Timer, Toastmaster Vaishak, please raise your hand. Thank you. Our counter, Toastmaster Ramesh, please raise your hand. Thank you. Grammarian, Toastmaster Rishabh, please raise your hand. Thank you so much. We have the votes. Now we'll move on to the best prepared speaker. You heard three speeches today. I will straight away go with the names. Please raise your hand if you would like to vote for speaker number one, Toastmaster Priya. Thank you so much. We'll move on to the speaker number two, Toastmaster Akshay. Thank you so much. We'll move on to speaker number three, Toastmaster Arya. Thank you. Please put your hands down. Now we'll move on to three speech evaluators. Evaluator number one, Toastmaster Gopinath. Please raise your hand if you would like to vote for him. You can put your hands down. Thank you. Evaluator number two, Toastmaster Richa. Please put your hands down. Evaluator number three, Toastmaster Atul. Thank you so much. And last but not the least, let's move on to the best table topic speaker among the four. Speaker number one, please raise your hand for Toastmaster Guru Prasad.
Thank you so much. We'll move on to the second speaker, Toastmaster Arpita. Please raise your hand if you'd like to vote for Toastmaster Arpita. Speaker number three, Toastmaster Reshma or a guest Reshma. Thank you so much. Last table topic speaker, Saloni. May I have a raise of hand for people who'd like to vote for Saloni? Thank you so much. And that's the best voting part of, you know, meditating. Some of you are already asleep. So hi, please come back. You can open your eyes. Come back to Sri Dhamma. Come back to Rendezvous meeting. Come back to Speaker Squad. Come back to Flip Masters and come back to Whitefield Toastmaster. I do have a couple of announcements, but before I go here and do that, I would like to take any final remark from Toastmaster uh, Vijay. And then the result, I would request Jayanti to announce it because she has it already. So Vijay, over to you for any final remark. Yeah. Uh, this is my first time in an offline meeting. I think I will cherish this moment and I will share it with all my club members once I am back in Flipmasters meeting next week. So I is also happy to see so many guests among the people, right? I think majority of the people are guests here, not the members from the Toastmaster. So it's a very good thing. Like this shows us the progress that we can achieve from the member enrollment and all. So what are you doing? For the announcement or the remarks? Okay, so I will first go with the remarks. So if you are wondering how Toastmaster can help you. <coughs> I joined Toastmasters in 2021. And my first offline event was one storytelling session. I don't remember the speaker's name. I went with my flatmate. And I saw there, there was one curly hair guy speaking very nicely. And that's Toastmaster Malai. That day I wanted to speak to him. I wanted to say that I liked your presentation. You had really nice hair, but I couldn't muster my courage to speak to him. But two years fast forward, I stand here as the president of speakers for Toastmasters Club and collaborating with his club. And that gives me immense pleasure to say that, really, I have come this far. Probably that was my first offline meeting. And um, after three weeks, I'll not be in Bangalore going for higher studies. So this is probably my last offline meeting in Bangalore. So again, it's a very good closing. Thank you Toastmaster Mazai and Toastmaster Vijay for coming together and making this happen. So we can, uh, on that good note, we can announce the winners. So the best role taker goes to, there was a huge number of voting on him, Toastmaster Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I just um, Toastmaster. Uh, sorry, yes, Toastmaster Ashwin as the Toastmaster of the day. Maybe I'll just announce the winners and then, yeah. And the best supporting role taker goes to our timer Toastmaster Vaishak. <laughs> best speaker goes to Toastmaster Akshay. <laughs> And the best evaluator goes to Toastmaster Richard. And then the final one, table topic speaker. And the best table topic speaker goes to Toastmaster Gopinathan. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Go to Prasad. Sorry. The long name, uh, my bad. Toastmaster Guru Prashad.
Now I hand over the mic to DTM DTM Mazai. Thank you. Can we all come together for a good picture, all of us? And can we have a huge round of applause for all of them, please? Stand, stand, stand. Stand together. Okay. <laughs> come, we'll all stand together. I will do the announcements from here. So make sure the picture is done quickly. Thank you so much for um, getting involved in the voting process. And uh, the second announcement that I have is related to my club. Let me know when the picture is done. Thank you. Yeah, I think role players can go back to their seat. I request the presiding officers to remain here because we'll together close the meeting with the stroke of gavel. We are a new club. As you can see, we are at meeting number 23. With the support of Speaker Squad, Toastmaster Club, and the support from Flipmasters. And if you guys are wondering what is a Flipmaster, you need some discount at Flipkart, contact these guys. I once actually went to Embassy Tech Village where my office building was there. Just beside that, there is a lovely campus of Flipkart. I went and I spoke with the, um, one of the presiding officers or a best role player or something, Chandrasekhar, if I remember. And I asked Chandrasekhar, I said, do you guys have some sort of a coupons for me? He said, Mazahir, we will be running a debate soon. If you win, you might get something. But for that, you would have to come to our office. Twice I have gone to Flipkart and the reception that I had at their place is lovely. So let's have a huge round of applause for Toastmasters from Flipkart over here. <laughs> what should I talk about speaker squad, my dear friends? There was once a definition given about speaker squad to me and saying that if you really want to watch quality over the quantity, you should go to speaker squad meeting. These guys meet in the morning. The attendance might be low, but the confidence is super high. The way how they perform their roles, especially during the online meeting, is commandable. There's a lot to learn. So in case if you're wondering, apart from the coupons from Flipkart, if you want to learn how do you well conduct a meeting online and how do you keep a good balance engaging, Speaker Squad is a place to go to. And now should I talk about a Whitefield Toastmaster? We are, we are because you are, right? We are here because of guests. We are here because of members. We're a new club, but I would like to take this opportunity along with two of the presiding officer to announce that we have recently won Phoenix Award as well as Speaker of 92. We're a new club, but there were three winners at club level. Huge competition after winning the club level contest at the area was provided or given by Toastmaster Rishabh at table topic. Veshak and I went on to the division level. A great competition there during the speech, international speech contest by Toastmaster Veshak. He was online, dedicated at Vietnam, had to deliver a speech, he made himself available. Great competition there, everybody loved it. However, he couldn't proceed further. But then there was one guy who said, fine, made it to the club area, division, went to the district. And then, when he went to the district, he did not go there alone. It wasn't that one person who was performing alone on the stage. There were 13 plus members from this club. And my friends, I'll tell you one thing. We are the only newest club in the last about six or seven months who made it possible at the stage wherein we made a remarkable point to everybody out there, whether you're from a corporate, you're from a community or from college. If you're working together as a club, it'll be shown. So I would like to hear a huge round of applause for everybody who's available at Coronation. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, if you're wondering who's the guy who won, it's me. 